Welcome to my course on Unreal Engine and how to make cinematics in it. Let's say you've just started recently or you're sort of an intermediate user, but you don't really know how to begin creating your cinematics in Unreal Engine. You have no real idea what workflow to use. Then this particular course is for you because we're going to delve quite deep in learning those structures. We're going to take it slow. We're going to start from the beginning and we're going to end up having quite a nice scene on our hands. Now, this particular course is separated between a tutorial, which is available on YouTube, and then the course itself, with con which contains extra features that the tutorial does not contain. So we're going to go through what this, what to expect from this course, and hopefully you'll find the, you know, the subjects to be quite enticing. We're going to make a scene that's reminiscent of the Dark Souls scene where we encountered a boss called Volnir. I found that scene to be quite peculiar, quite interesting. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try and do a, a, a scene in that vein. So what we're going to do first, we're going to have our scene set up. So you're going to learn the basics of how to, to set up the scene. We're then going to go through necessary plugins for our workflow. We're also going to be talking about assets, assets import, asset importing material sets up and also mega scans we're then going to delve into scene block out where we're going to use various different shapes to block out our scene before actually committing to the final sort of form of the of the project uh, we're also going to be setting up a spawn blueprint which will allow us to create our scene a lot faster more procedural we're also going to do some cloth simulation in blender in order to pepper the scene with some other assets as well um, we're also going to learn how to use Niagara fluids and also how to create a candlelight using Niagara, but more importantly, how to create sm smoke effects in Niagara. Also part of the course, we're going to be using an asset from Embergen where we're going to be able to create a, a realistic looking candlelight with that sort of workflow. All of these assets, by the way, they're all available in the project, so you're going to get all of this already pre-done. Uh, we're also then going to delve into camera work, composition, color grading, and then ultimately into character animation and setting up our sequence. We're also going to be going through console variables and export settings in order for you to get the best looking cinematic out of Unreal Engine. And then with that, you know, we're going to have a wrap and I hope you are going to have enough knowledge then, you know, gathered throughout this um, course in order to go and make your own cinematic. So let's begin with a project breakdown more like a render presentation of what i've done and why i've done it and some of the things that were, could have been done better could have are done you know for a specific reason in that way and then we'll continue on with the actual first chapter which is scene setup <laughs> 